Hi guys and welcome back to another player prediction video by myself, Beton87. Today we are revisiting Barcelona because a lot of transfers have happened recently. One of them being Rakitic from Sevilla, one of them being Luis Suarez from Liverpool, which I uh, obviously know quite a bit, a little bit about, and also a returning player from Everton, which is uh, Delafoe. So a very nice uh, trio there to uh, show some player predictions for for the next FIFA 15. Now, if any of you guys want any other team coins to purchase any players you do want on Ultimate Team, make sure you check out onefifa.com. Their link is down below in the description. If you use discount code Bates and as well, you get five percent off your Ultimate Team coins. They are reliable and instant. If you want any MSP, PSN codes or cheat game codes as well, make sure you check out, check out G2A.com. Their link is also there. And if we could try and smash over 3,000 likes this video, that would be absolutely awesome. So, as I said, the three players are Rakitic, uh, Suarez and uh, De La Faux. And the first one we're going to be doing is uh, Ivan Rakitic. The cover well, like last season he played for uh, Sevilla and he had an absolutely awesome season. And the stat, well, you see the card on the screen now. It is an 81 rated cam version. So, coming on now is the card which I just had given me. It is a centre midfield position card. It is 80, uh, yeah, 83 rated card. I've given him plus two p uh, pace, plus six shooting, plus two passing, plus five dribbling. Kept his head in, uh, defending the same and plus four heading as well. So, with that, he is going to be an absolute god. He was a god last season. That goal he scored against uh, Barcelona, I think it was, where he flicked it over his uh, over his head and then continued to run on and scored it. That was an absolutely cracking goal, and it probably even did put a major dent in uh, Barcelona title and uh, challenging for the title last season. And now he has joined Barcelona this season uh, after an unsuccessful World Cup as well with Croatia. And um, yeah, if, if you look at the statistics from uh, Rakitic last season in the uh, 34 games he did play in La Liga scoring 12 goals 12 assists in the Europa League itself he got three goals three assists in 16 games and in the qualifiers he just got three assists in two games so not uh, a bad all-round player I probably would have given him a bit higher rated but then I'm also looking at the player ratings from an EA point of view now Rakitic is still quite young isn't he is uh, yeah, well, I think he's still quite young. 26, yeah, he's younger than me. 26. He's still got uh, a few years ahead of him to uh, go and progress to be one of the best players uh, in the world. And he's also in one of the best places to do it. When you've got the likes of Suarez, Neymar and Messi in front of you, you know you're in uh, good company who can uh, aid you in getting a few more statistic up upgrades. So, with that, guys, if you agree on this rating, make sure you uh, let me know in the comment section below. If you disagree, think he's going to be the same rating or even higher than the one I give him, let me know as well because all these player predictions are opinion based and uh, that's why I do the videos because I like to get your guys opinion on uh, what I think and uh, also everything else so with that Rakitic has been done and now we're going to visit someone who returned from Everton and that player is Gerard Delafoe. As you know, he was absolutely brilliant back in FIFA 13, getting team season cards in silver. And uh, as you can see on the screen now, this is his current card. And uh, it is a very nice, interesting one. It is a low-rated goal player for Everton with 91 pace, 84 dribbling, quite a tidy little card to be honest and worth this guy. But because a lot of people were expecting massive things from Delafour this season and uh, Everton, he didn't really do much. If you look at the statistics, he did get, he uh, played 25 appearances, some of them obviously as a sub and uh, only got four assists and three goals. Now for someone who was going to meant to be the next big thing um, he didn't really perform and that is why I've decided to downgrade him now some people may be happy with that some people may disagree with that but I reckon De is going back to be a silver card next season if you look on the screen now I've knocked him down to a 74. Not that much. He probably even could be less. He could go back down to his 73 card. I've kept his pace the same because that kid is absolutely rapid. 65 shooting, so I've took one shooting away. Minus four passing, uh, even dribbling, so I've kept that the same at 84. Minus three defending and even heading. So with De La Foy, he's still only 20. You've got to remember that, and he's still got a long time to go in his career. And especially with him being back at Barcelona, there's a high possibility he may even go out on loan again. But uh, with uh, the like, 
likes of you got Messi, Suarez, you got all these superstars at Barcelona now. So you got to think, how will this player actually fit into Barcelona as well? And that's also something I'm going to be asking in the next clip when we do start talking about Luis Suarez. Um, where's everyone going to fit? That's what I'm curious to know, and that's what a lot of people will be curious to know. So that is the De La Fo, um, De La Fo, I can't even say the guy's name. I have not been able to say it since FIFA 13. But that is the card rating I've given him. If you disagree, let me know. If you agree, let me know as well. So let's get on to the third and final player, which is Luis Suarez. So the final one, Suarez. I'm a Liverpool fan myself, if you didn't know this already. Uh, he has been absolutely brilliant last season. There's a few things that he does outside of scoring goals and assisting goals and playing awesome for Liverpool. He does stupid shit. One of them stupid things is biting people. He's bit Ivanovic and he's also bit Chiellini most recently. And that has made him be forced out of Liverpool. A lot of people will say he was going to hang around for the Liverpool for the uh, for the fresh Champions League campaign, which we haven't had in a long time. So it'd be nice to have a player of uh, Luis Suarez's uh, ability there to try and get some goals and get us as far as we can. But um, it's a stupid shit, and he's absolutely tarnished the club. And, I'm, and to be honest, as a Liverpool fan myself, I'm happy to see him go. Not only because of the amount of money that we're getting for him, but also because of the shit which he has given Liverpool over the uh, over the period in which he's been with us. So with that. We're going to talk about the uh, Luis Suarez, which we all know, which is the goal scorer. 33 appearances last season for Liverpool uh, in the Premier League, scoring 31 goals, 21 assists, and uh, what a surprise. No red cards. <laughs> but with Luis Suarez, he was banned for a big portion of the season last season. Uh, he didn't start till a couple of, like a month or two later, I think. Um, but he's, in my opinion, he's one of the best uh, out and out strikers in the world. A lot of people, like I said on Twitter yesterday, I was like, Suarez is the best striker in the world. And that's because I don't see Messi as a striker. I see Messi as more a creative uh, creative attacker, whereas uh, Luis Suarez is a, is a p uh, proven goal scorer. Um, but obviously Messi and uh, Suarez are now linking up together. It's going to be pretty brutal. Now that's something I was going to ask. You guys, how do you think Barcelona are going to lay out next season? You've got the likes of Iniesta, you've got the likes of Mascherano, who's obviously going to be pushed up into midfield uh, after his performances for Argentina. If he is wasted at centre-back again, I reckon he could look for his way out. You've also so you've got Iniesta, you've got Rakitic, who's a fresh signing. You've got Pedro, who's still there. You've got De La Fore returning. You've got Neymar there. They've just got an absolutely massive midfield with Sergio uh, Biscuits as well. Uh, obviously, they've offloaded uh, Fabregas and also um, Xavi's on his way out as well. So, I want you guys in the comment section below to let me know how you think Barcelona are going to be uh, are going to be laying out next season. Now, in my head, I think they're going to be playing a four-one, uh, well, like a four-four-one-one one with uh, Messi behind Suarez. But then again, who knows? They might even push Messi out to the right wing, which is where he used to play anyway. Have Neymar on the left wing and Suarez as a striker. Now, with Messi, you know how much he cuts inside. He's got an absolutely awesome left foot. Uh, but anyway, that, I'm curious to know how you think that's laid out. So let's talk about the FIFA 15 card, which I think that he is going to get. And uh, as you can tell, he did get an upgrade from an 86 to an 88 in January. And then I went and pushed him up that one stat more. And that was to an 89 rated card. Now, who knows? He could be higher than that. I'd, I think 89 is his minimum. I think he could possibly could get a 90 or a 91 rated card. It depends how FIFA want to uh, want to well put the biting aspect of him into it. Whether they want to keep it to this on-field style of play, his ability, then uh, he could be getting like a 90, 91 card. But if they like to put everything else into the factor, then I reckon he'll probably get an 89 or an 88. So with the 89 rated card, giving a plus one pace, uh, plus six shooting, plus three passing, plus two dribbling, plus one defending, and uh, plus four heading. That probably would take him to a 90 card, uh, but obviously I like to keep the face card at 89. So guys, if you agree with any of these ratings, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. If you disagree with them, also let me know in the comment section below, and give me three more players who we can do in the next couple of episodes. I'm enjoying this. It's nice to uh, do a little bit of research on the players as well, and also like get the idea of the new card in your head like Luis Suarez imagine pulling that card out of a pack uh, imagine pulling the likes of Rakitic out of the pack or even Della Four if he was a silver card he's he'll be worth a fucking mint if he was a silver card as well so there it is guys subscribe for more awesome FIFA 14 FIFA 15 content drop a like rating on the video and definitely comment down below as that this is what the makes the video so until next time see you all later have a very very nice day that's my shoe now as well no I got it I got it okay. oh shit sure.
Come here, bitch. Oh, you oh, oh, this... No! Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, burn, oh, my god. Finch, leave this. Finch, leave this. I heard you in my back. Finch, no, don't leave this. Finch, please leave this. Finch, don't leave please this. Leave.